Bill McKibben publishes a, uh, a newsletter over on, uh, on Substack, but he also writes for a lot of major publications. And The New Yorker just published a piece that's titled, Dimming the Sun to Cool the Planet is a Desperate Idea, Yet We're Inching Toward It, that I found absolutely fascinating. I just wanted to flag it and, and, and let you know about it. And this is called Solar Geoengineering. Uh, we know, for example, when Mount, Mount Pinatubo uh, erupted back in, what was that, 86, I think, or, or whatever the year was, uh, some years ago, that, uh, say what? Oh, two minutes, sorry. Uh, that it, it uh, you know, cooled down the planet uh, pretty terribly. And back in 1816, there was the Mount Tambora uh, eruption, actually in, in uh, 1815. And thus, 1816 became the year without a summer. Uh, you know, lake ice was observed in Pennsylvania in August. And in Europe, the, the grain yields collapsed and there were, you know, there were riots and things like that. Um, so we know that if we put some crap in the upper atmosphere, it'll cool down the earth because it reflects sunlight out. And there are a number of candidates for what, that's, what that crap should be, uh, whether it should be sulfur or whether it should be uh, aluminum, uh, powdered aluminum or aluminum oxide. Uh, or uh, yeah, one of the fancier ones is diamond dust, <laughs> you know, but there's, there's a lot of ideas, but there's also a lot of potentially really disastrous side effects to these, like they could destroy the ozone layer or they would change the way sunlight hits the earth, which drives photosynthesis, which is the basis of basically all life on earth or most life on earth, certainly all complex, all mammalian life on earth um, is, you know, goes back to photosynthesis. And we don't know what impact it would have on that, you know, long term. And then the other problem is if we did it for a year or two and slowed down or even reversed, you know, the, the global warming and then found that there were problems or if one country said to another country, um, we don't like the consequences of this because the consequences are entirely unpredictable. This, this is going to alter weather patterns all around the planet. And some countries may say, you know, we're getting whacked now when we weren't before. And uh, so they, you know, shoot down the satellites or end the global, you know, the, 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 the global cooling uh, process. And then you get this blowback, this what's called termination shock, this blowback where things are even worse than they were. But uh, in any case, uh, scholars are sitting around talking about this because we're refusing to stop using fossil fuels. And so this may be our only option. And uh, it's challenging, troubling, fascinating. And it's over at The New Yorker. It's by Bill, Bill McKibben. We'll be back with your calls on Anything Goes Wednesday right after this.